Hi friends, I am Dr. Abhinav Prakash. Going to share a surgical experience in performing a phacoma emulsification in soft cataract. So, this is a soft cataract, 55 years male, grade 1 to 2 nuclear sclerosis. So, just to start with the surgery, mucus strand in the eye washed with the PSS balance salt solution. Two side ports were made, eye stabilized with Cope's globe stabilizer. Anterior chamber is filled with intracameral lignocaine and dispersive viscoelastic. The cannula is introduced to the other end then gradually we inject slowly. So bright red reflex main port is made with the keratome square nice incision good red reflex the reflexes forceps is introduced a flap is raised anterior capsule flap is raised and flattened on itself and a nice adequate size rexes you can see the marking on the forceps this will give you an idea just to get an adequate size 5 to 5.5 millimeter diameter axis so gently this flap is raised and the axis is made the patient is a bit uncooperative he is trying to move his eyes throughout the surgeries but the axis is made perfect round circular axis is achieved taking little bit of longer time than usual nice round circular axis is achieved hydro dissection is done with continuous flow of fluid underneath the anterior capsular margin of the axis and it is done till the one pole of the nucleus is prolapsed outside the bag <laughs> attempted from other side and the one pole of the nucleus is prolapsed outside the capsular bag and we are going to perform flip and chop technique Job is very useful technique in such kind of cataracts because in the bag chop, direct chop or provide conquer, all those techniques are not efficient in soft cataracts. So the very slowly phaco emulsification is done. We may not able to divide the nucleus, but you can see the major chunk the debulking of nucleus is achieved and as we get the space in the bag after removing little bit some part of the nucleus the nucleus becomes free and rest of the cataract nucleus is easily taken out so just be patient in such things in in such cataracts and 
never use too much of fake oil. You should be easy on fake oil pedal. Be in foot pedal position too always, and keep the chopper in safe position all the time. The tip of the chopper should not break the posterior capsule, and always keep. yourself in foot pedal too or irrigation or if you are not used to it just keep the continuous irrigation settings on in your fico machine so now waiting for irrigation and aspiration coaxial irrigation and aspiration first as usual the cortex is loosened from all the four quadrants then the whole sheet of this cortex is aspirated sub incisional cortex is removed very carefully the aspiration port of this probe should always be visible it should not go out of your sight at any of the step the irrigation aspiration should not be blind the polishing is done and uh, now planning for iol implantation probably i am loading the lens or my assistant is loading the lens so little bit of delay and uh, there are few eyelashes in the field rest eyelashes are draped very well but you should always take care of that that there, there should be no eyelashes or eyelid margin exposed so the lens is loaded i is filled so here i am going to do the hydro implantation of the iol so this is the irrigation port of by manual iya irrigation aspiration uh, one piece acrylic and most of uh, acrylic lens is implanted sometimes this hydro implantation saves your time and it makes cuts the time time of the surgery and the visco removal is lot easy you don't need to spend lot of time in visco removal just go behind the eye well and little bit of visco elastic which is there it will come out and there is not much of that and remaining if it is there it visco elastic will come with the irrigation cannula when we are sealing the side pores the side ports should not be hydrated too much only the roof and rear lip of the main port should be hydrated so that we can avoid unnecessary astigmatism post operatively which will take 2 3 weeks to go away the side ports are they should not we should not hydrate that much that we can see the white dot it should not be there just little bit of hydration is sufficient and very clean surgery thanks for watching thanks for watching and i appreciate your patience i will be back with more such videos thanks again